Hi everybody, I'm back and I'm going to be doing my favorites for the month of December. Now this is a chicken fried mess, so we're going to have to go through this very fast. I have a lot of favorites for December and yeah, so I'm going to do my usual, I do my my bath products, my frags, my makeup products, um, I have a lot of VS stuff, um, yeah, it's crazy. And then I have some Lush. Bath and Body Works, a lot of new launch makeup, so let's get going. I'm just going to have to cut through it and go. So, And then I have a, a lot of frags, which you guys have seen. There's more on the way. I know those are going to be favorites, too. So, yeah. First of all, let's start with my shower caddy. I just grabbed it out of the shower just because I have so many things. And then I filled up a basket, a Christmas basket. I just went around and grabbed my favorites. There was no way to... Anyway, you guys know how it is. So, um, these are Lush products, So White and Snowman um, Shower. Ooh, a hair. This is brand new too. Um, I just grabbed it out of the bag. I absolutely love the scent on these. This So White. I'm so sad that this is going to be a limited edition, as far as I know. I love the scent on this. I absolutely love it. It smells clean, fresh. Oh, I love it. And my husband likes it too. Now the shower jelly is absolutely fabulous too because you can put the little snowman. Please tell me this is the one. Yeah, this one's broken in half. Out of the ones I reviewed the other day from Boxing Day. I think it's because when they sit in the in the container they eventually break in half because they're folded in half but I absolutely love the scent on these they are just fabulous oh my gosh there is nothing better than this I think it smells better than snow fairy as far as I'm concerned and that's a that's that's a hard one to, to um, grab my Kleenex I, I think I may be catching a cold this may be on allergies allergy medicine does not help it so excuse my Kleenex okay so let me go through this bath caddy and then now that I have my hands all sticky now I have a bag of Bath and Body Works down here and then I have the ones that I've been using in the shower so here's a favorite Win winter candy apple love it that's how much is gone I've got to use it up. I just have so many. Here is Sugar Plum Dream. Love it. It's a favorite. Ooh, there's another hair on that. It's gross. Just hair grosses me out. Even though it's mine. Here's Vanilla Bean Noel. Not so much a favorite just because you can use this all year because it's vanilla scented. It doesn't interfere with your perfume. You can use the lotion and the vanilla seems to blend if you have a sweet frag. The vanilla lotion seems to blend with whatever you're wearing, so that's one good side of it. Then what I do when I use the winter candy apple and I put it on my bath puff, I mix it with the sparkling, sparkling snowflake scrub, and it makes kind of a scrub and a body wash. Another hair, nice. So I mix these. I don't mix it every time, um, pretty much like maybe once a week I'll do a really because this is pretty gritty um, I'm down about halfway on this now my husband doesn't like scrubby things so he doesn't use it so and obviously uh, it doesn't say limited edition but it's going to be so there's two more favorites love them if you see them on the shelves buy them up I'm not kidding you um, I think they're dirt cheap right now. I should have went and got more, but I have so much. It's crazy. So that's what I have pretty much in my caddy. There's a, a bath oil from Fortune Cookie Soaps. This is insert cookie cutter name here. This is a bath oil. Love it. It's my second one from FCS. Um, and then I have, this was from, this is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. I have it upside down. This was from the fall. This always gets me in the Christmas spirit. I don't know why. So let's set the caddy down. And then I will finish my Bath and Body Works. And then I will go on to a couple Lush products. I can't do them all. There's just way too many. So this bag, I got to 
get my nose again. It's crazy. Just absolutely crazy. Excuse me. Two allergy meds, so it must be a cold. Anyway, so here's the Vanilla Bean Noel. This one's almost gone. A favorite. The reason why on that one is because it doesn't interfere with your frags because it's vanilla and vanilla pretty much goes with anything sweet. So yeah, the winter candy apple. There's that one. This one feels like it's down about there. And once they're empty, I get so insane I even cut them in half and there's still a lot left in them. I can't just throw it away. So, I used to be hooked on Plumeria until they took it off the shelves. I loved it. Um, and then here is, oh, I have another Sugar Plum Dream. Didn't even know that in there. I think that came in the little paint can. Or she slipped it in. I don't know why I have two of those. I don't know if that will last till next year. It doesn't have that little emblem. But this is more of a Christmas item, so I'm either going to have to use it fast or I don't know. So anyway, there's that one. And then I have another Twisted Peppermint, which I didn't even hit during Christmas time. Um, yeah, I should have sent it to my mother or somebody. Oops. So that's a favorite. Um, and then this... This one I think is absolutely adorable. This is a Vanilla Bean Noel and it's a snow glow bubble bath and body wash. Didn't use it. This is a tie you can use for your hair. I did use it in my hair. It does have a hair on it. It's got elastic. So like once you use it in the tub I would take the bow off. Um, so you don't ruin the bow. You can see the elastic on the back. but. This is so cool. You shake it up and turn it upside down. Make sure the lid's on. And it looks like a globe. Everything settles. It is just so stinking cute. And it's flat. So I love this. This is like bubble bath. Vanilla, Vanilla Bean Noel. Now if you mix them all, like the bubble bath, the lotion, the body wash, you really come out smelling like vanilla. So then I have, here is a Vanilla Bean Noel body lotion. I like the triple cream. These are all favorites. I'm not kidding you. It's crazy. Then there is a Winter Candy Apple Spray. I carry this in my purse. This one's down about that much. It's crazy. And then here is a small Twisted Peppermint just to carry in my purse just because it's really cold out and when you spray this on it's like wow so sometimes I will save these for the summertime stick them in the freezer peppermint's pretty much good all year I don't know and then I have two other products in this bag this bag was stuffed full and then I got that um, can behind me which I'm going to use for Valentine's Day I've got a DIY idea for that painter can. So I have the Winter Candy Apple Shimmer Shimmer Swirl Lotion. Love it. Um, it kind of comes out and looks like soap and I thought I had it mixed up but it, it is a lotion. So there's the Winter Candy Apple and then here's the Twisted Peppermint. So those are the Bath and Body Works favorites. Get out and get them while they're still there. That's all I have to say. I would definitely get the Vanilla Bean Noel in the uh, not so much the, much the Twisted Peppermint because it makes you really cold when it when it's cold out. It's not the best thing in the shower, but the the Winter Candy Apple is fabulous. Love it. And then this Vanilla Bean Noel is so dang it's so darn cute. I don't even want to use it. So once we get our new house, I may just set it by our jetted tub and use it just very sparingly. I thought it was very unique how they made this into like a globe. So that's what it says on the back. Vanilla Bean Noel and it says Snow Globe. So 
So I'll throw all those back in there. The rest are in my shower caddy. I didn't even realize there was this, still this many products in there. So that's the Bath and Body Works. So let's go to Lush real quick. And then I will do um, the FCS, the makeup, and then I will do the clothing. And we should be through this. So the Lush Favorites. I absolutely love this. I was only able to get one first snow, the dusting powder. I like to take a bath at night and then put this on underneath my jammies. It smells good. I put it on I sprinkle it on the sheets. My husband loves it. It just smells really uh it says sparkle and citrus scent. It just smells fabulous. And I don't think this came in a bigger size, but I absolutely love it and it's gone 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 can't get it anywhere so and then the snowman like I said is a favorite um, the penguins were favorites just because of the scent oh I love them oh okay I've got the candy mountain this smells like snow fairy and the penguin just has its own unique scent. Love it, love it. I think this is the best year for Lush's Christmas launch. I'm not kidding you. Out of all their launches. Here's the Snow Angel. Love it. I think it's just beautiful. I wish I could keep it forever, but I have to use it. So then mixing a melt and a um, bath bomb together was brilliant, I thought. So yeah, two more snowmen's in here, and then there's the dashing Santa. I didn't really get much when I tried these. Um, much scent. Um, it didn't really strike my fancy, but they're darling. They'd be great for a kid. So yeah, the scent wasn't really strong, and I like strong scented stuff. So one other item with Lush, otherwise I can go forever. I absolutely love the fun in the snowman. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of the So White, the shower gel. So whenever I use the shower gel, I use this for the soap too. But oh my gosh. It smells so good. I don't have time to make a snowman, so I just, uh, yeah, start ripping them apart. So there is those. There are those. And then I have another bag real quick to go over from Lush. Um, I love the Snow Fairy Sparkle. Take it out, and I just rub it on my skin before I get out and barely just pat myself dry. Rub it, put it in a, a drainer where the water will drain off of it. I have a few of these. And then, um, oh, this is just too hard. There's a couple of these So White Ballistics. Now, I don't know if the scent is supposed to match the So Whites. It doesn't smell the same to me as the the other ones that I just reviewed, but it very well could be. So, yeah, I could go on forever. Um, just anything Lush is my favorite, so, yeah. It's just sad to see Christmas go. So there is Lush. Um, I have some favorite massage bars. Um... I love the hedgehog. Absolutely love it. I think he's darling. This one's kind of beat up. Absolutely love it. The Christmas hedgehog. The scent isn't overwhelming. I was a little disappointed there, but I think he's really cute. Um, and then, of course, the fairy wands. These, I have a bazillion of. I always try to get on Boxing Day. I love them. Sometimes when I get tired of just mucking up my tub, I'll just throw the whole thing in or break it up. Just because I don't want to keep, you know, it makes a big mess. Unless you have to have five or six soap trays or soap dishes. Otherwise, you've got stuff laying everywhere and I'm not big into that. So, 
There is my Lush favorites. Okay, now let's move on to... Um, here is a favorite body spray from VS. I suggest everybody get out and try this. I got several of these free when I had my $10 um, secret rewards because I think they were six. But this pink, fresh, and clean smells so good. Uh, the notes on it are... It's really, really hard notes. It's got a lot of notes in it, but I spray it on, and when it dries down, it is fabulous. I can smell that sandalwood. Oh, I love it. So there is the pink, um, fresh and clean. I think they sell this all year, so you can buy this in the big tubs of soap, the spray, and so all that. I hope, I'm hoping this is not limited edition. Okay, then I have, oh boy, let's do the makeup real quick. Um, well, then I have fortune cookie soaps. This is full. I can't review all these. They sent me another Sparky. My other one was broken. That was the first item that's ever been broken. Don't tell me this other one got broken. It's on the bed somewhere behind me. Oh boy. Anyway, this one looks like a Christmas light. It's a bath bomb. And it's very, very breakable. So, yeah. They did send me another one. It's in here somewhere. Here it is. Yes, please tell me it's not broken. I will show you the one that I was not able to review. My husband's waiting for dinner, so he's. I'll be right there, babe. Poor guy, he's so patient. So this is what it looks like when it's not broken. And I have the soap, too. It's amazing. I love it. This one's called Sparky. And this is a bath bomb. So they sent me a new one. The top broke off by accident. It was not at all their fault. They have a new packaging company. Now, I'm not saying it was their fault, either. It's just an item that's very fragile. So, thank you to Justin and Shannon for sending me a new one. It wasn't a real big deal. Um, I was going to make a themed basket for a friend. I never did, so, anyway. Okay, so there's that one. A favorite. I cannot go through this whole... I want to grab the Sparky Soap and show you that one. Those are my two absolute favorites. I think FCS did the best that they've done ever this year. It seems like it gets better every year. But this year, I just think I think they did the best. Maybe because it's my favorite movie. I don't know. But look at this. This, is, this one is crazy huge. This one's the Molly Kaliki Maka Solid Bubble Bath. I mean, that is insane. I just hate to even use that. Have to, though. So let me find the soap real quick. There's the mousse mug soap. That smells like eggnog. Where is the sparky soap? Here's the bath a bath bomb in Jello Surprise. Love this. Where is uh? There's then I got a bunch of fortune cookie soaps. Love them all. There's a whole hat box back there from Christmas in July. Where is the Sparky soap? Probably on the bottom, where it shouldn't be. I think this is it. Yeah, this is another absolute favorite. And then I've got to stop with Fortune Cookie. If you guys want to review with this, I will go over it again. I'll do all my fortune cookies. Just let me know. They're gonna. They're, they should be having a half off sale right now. I just have to keep myself away from that channel. But here is the soap to match the bath bomb. How stinking cute is that? Oh my gosh, brilliance! And it smells like pure cookies. Oh, it's amazing. So yeah, gotta get those out and use them. Last year I went nuts on the tangle and the tinsel. I did get one or two, which smells like pink sugar. 
if this year I went nuts on the Sparky. Okay, so, um, yeah, I have full bars of soap I can show you, just, it will take way too long. Um, okay, so let's move on to the makeup, and then I'll move on to the clothing. Here is I Pledge Allegiance, Amen. This this is a full bar of soap. I love this one. Let me take this one out. And then I have one at the kitchen sink that's plaid. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, for the life of me. I can't remember what it's called. But it's at the kitchen sink. That's why I love to order their bars of soap. They last forever. So this one was when grandma was praying and look at how sparkly it is oh my gosh see the sparkles and the sides wow it smells like wintergreen and balsam oh my gosh makes me want Christmas to come back right now oh it just went too fast but that smells it smells more like balsam trees yeah, I would say it smells 99% like Christmas trees and 10% like winter green. I love it. That's probably my favorite soap. I, yeah. Besides the, the one that's by the kitchen sink that's plaid. I think it's so darling. Okay, so there is fortune cookie soaps. I can't go through them all. It would just, unless I did two parts to my favorites. And we're already at 21 minutes. So. Let me do my makeups, the new launch makeups, and then I'll do my uh, pink boots. I am so excited. I got them in a, my husband is wonderful. He got them for me in a size 7, so they are on their 7.5, so I know for sure they're going to fit. I wear a 6.5, but since they have a heel on them, um, it pushes your toe down, so you want to always get a bigger size. I am so excited. Wait till you guys see these on. They are darling. So I know for sure they're going to fit. I'm so excited. So basically that's all I wanted for Christmas. So I am stoked. So there's the fortune cookie soaps. If you guys want to see these reviewed, I will go through the whole stack. So I have this is full. These are favorites too. This is full of fortune cookie soaps. This is fortune cookie soaps. Um, in July, it is so heavy I can barely lift it. I will get through them. So if you guys want a review on those, I will go through them. Just leave me a message. I'm going to put this up here. Here it is. I've never really been into Pez containers, but I love Hello Kitty. I'm not as crazy as some people. Um, I did fill them, most of them. So yeah, I untaped it all. They are just darling. It'd be a perfect gift for a little kid. But I got these back in September. So yeah, that's what they look like. Really cute. It's probably maybe worth some money someday. Then this, um, let's go on to the makeup. So here's a VS. I forgot to review this makeup bag I got for free from Victoria's Secret. Love it, love it. It's kind of hard to unzip. And then this train case. I love this from VS. I've showed you guys a bazillion times. It opens up where you can put your jewelry and then your makeup down below. So it's not jostled all over. So it's it's big, but it's small. So I would say it would be enough to put a week's worth of stuff in. I would say if you organized it right. So... Um, there's that. This one um, is another great. It came with matching brushes. They are hanging around here somewhere. I don't know why I can't get it open. Stuff there. Okay, so inside here I have, of course, my Sunny Rose Soap Company. And these, my mom thought they were candy. She went to take a bite out of them. I think they are darling. The owner of the company sent them to me um, as a favor. So, yeah, if you want to get in touch with her, Sunny Rose Soap Company. 
and then it's uh, www.sunnyrosesoap.com. So there is that, and then the inside is pink and black polka dot, and then it has a little pink kabuki brush. So there's another favorite. Now let's move on to the makeup. Okay, we've got, I absolutely love, 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 love this, everything nice, um, the Too Faced, I'm a little upset that the, that the palette does not fit inside the bag, the bag was, they made another one, another rendition with a gold bag, I just didn't want to switch bags, so they said put your iPad in there. I don't know what I'm going to do with the bag. I may have to just put the palette in sideways. It was a little heartbreaking to find that it didn't fit, but the makeup inside is gorgeous. I will do a tutorial on this too. So I did go out and get my white eyeliner. It's gorgeous. I will review that later. This is another favorite. Okay, and then... Got to get through this quick. The Cheeky Sweet Spot. I reviewed this several times from Benefit. Love the blush. There's the colors. That's all there. And then, then it comes with a What's Up. Love, love, love. Uh, it's in a tin container, so it's pretty well safe. These I haven't opened. There, There's a lip gloss and then a... Um, cheek stain so three scoops so sexy not time for Norton go away okay so there's that and then I think this is so stinking sweet under the mistletoe and I got this free from Ulta or almost free I think it was like four dollars it's a little pink purse I've showed you guys with three lipsticks inside full size from Too Faced I'll just pull the little bag out and show you. It does um, drop glitter, so I think if it was in your purse, it would probably be a mess. The full-size lipsticks do not look as pretty as they are on the back. They're more of a nude color. I was a little disappointed. But here is the bag. How stinking cute is that? With a little bobble on the end. So for those of you that haven't seen this, and then all the lipsticks I'm not going to show you are, they are wrapped up inside some pink tissue paper. So there's another favorite. Okay, and then my last two boxy charms. Oh my gosh, I went cuckoo over those. And then I'm going to go over some clothing, and we are done. We're at 27 minutes. That's not too bad. So, I love this palette, the Eclipse palette, uh, 15 concealer shades from Coastal Scents. I was just beside myself when we got this palette from BoxyCharm. I love it. And then we got the other palette. We got this one, the month before, the Go palette. I got the Cairo. Love it. That's another favorite. You can tell... Um, which ones I've used the most of. So it's really nice to get a palette every month from them. So yeah, um, I have this month's boxy charm. I was going to show you real quick. I'll put that stuff away later. So yeah, this is probably one of my favorite boxes, the Jingle Bells. I love this brush. I love the Nina lashes. They're a little bit long. I'll probably have to trim them. I don't wear lashes that are that long. That's kind of crazy long for me. But you can always trim them shorter. And then the Revealed palette is like a dupe on one of the Urban Decays. Um, the Urban Decay 2, I think. But it's fabulous. I mean, $39. That's crazy. That's a huge palette. And there's all the colors on the back. So, and then mine came with a hairspray. A lot of them came with a shampoo. Mine came with a hairspray. So, yeah, that was one of my favorite, favorite, favorite boxy charms. And then it came with a bombshell lipstick in Lush, the same color as my Urban Decay. 
um, apocalypse. So there's another favorite. I need to put that on my Instagram. So I had these all in a Christmas basket. Looks like this. Really cute. Have a jolly Christmas. So yeah. Um, got to get all this uploaded and then a favorite color from my husband this is from Mac um, New York Apple the best red you will ever buy from Mac it's so beautiful it's upside down it is not it's not a funky red let me show you um, I was wearing it the other day but he picked it out he knew I was in there looking for red and he's like try this one so it's more like a burgundy, but it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. So there's that one. Okay, a couple more things and I will get on to the clothes and we are done. So I set this over here. Okay. Um we got that. We got these. I forgot to review these at Christmas from my mother. Two Sonic Airs. Awesome. Favorite. Favorite, favorite, need to get that charged. Okay, then I don't even rem remember if I reviewed these. My husband got me this beautiful purple robe. Haven't worn it yet. Still got the tags from BS. And then a white slip to go underneath of it. Beautiful. I thought they'd be beautiful together. A favorite. I'll be wearing tonight. It's really cold. And then these jammies, this, the other ones are in the laundry, this set, the one down here. But I love the plaid ones. The only problem is when it's 15 degrees, a, t -sh a shirt like this is going to be freezing. So I'll have to wear like a sweatshirt or something over it. But I just love the pink plaid. I think it's so cute. I think you could actually wear these outside like I do with my other, um, ones I'm going to show you in a minute. Here is my Charming Charlie's pink pashmina um, scarf to go with my to go with my skirt and my pink boots. Those are coming back soon and I will do a, a whole outfit for you guys. This is really cute. My mom got me this really tight form-fitting so there's that and then all the pink you guys have seen all these I've worn them the they're all PJs but I wear them out I love them I have a pair on now underneath my jeans just to keep me warm so here's the red one the gray one the plaid and this is probably my favorite pant one from VS so and then there is a like a ski headband. Whoops, drop that. That's a favorite. Ouch, that hurt my hip. There's a favorite. Just to pull your hair back if you go skiing. Very soft. Keeps you dry. And then here is a VS pink sweater. I don't think I even reviewed this. I thought it looked darling with my pink boots. So there's that. So that's that box. One more and we are done. So let me get, I don't want to put my robe on the bottom, it'll get all wrinkled. My robe and my, it's called a slip. I call it pajamas, or not pajamas, lingerie, whatever. But I just think this, this, um, purple is so beautiful. It almost looks like navy blue, but it is purple. It's like great purple. Anyway, so there's my favorites from BS. And then let's see. Two more things. This is from Balm. This is a pencil skirt. It is skin tight. I love it. It looks really cute with, with um, boots. And they had them in horizontal stripes. Buy one. The second one's half off. It was $34. Crazy. I washed it by hand. It said it needed to be dry clean, but I washed it by hand. It's lined, very warm. I wear it with my black boots. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I should have bought the second one, the striped. I'll just have to go back and suck it up and pay the $34. So there's that one. It's still wet. And then 
the lace top. I got to go with my pink outfit, my pink skirt, and my boots, and my jacket. I haven't worn that yet. It's a little bit on the small side. I thought I would wear a pink bra underneath of it. I don't care if it shows through. I thought I'd just be cute. And then here is my Juicy Couture jacket. I get so many compliments on it. It is so soft. That is an absolute favorite. But my boots, once those get here, I will be freaking out. And then one of three other things. The Obviously, the my husband's best, Viva the... Viva La Juicy Gold Kutcher favorite and the Viva La Juicy Noir favorite. So I hope you guys enjoyed the favorites. Sorry they were so crazy. Um, thanks for watching. Love you all. Sub, sub, sub. And I will see you later. Give me a thumbs up. And sorry the video took so long. It just had so many things. I mean, I can't even move. So I've got to get going. I will get this up and I may see you later. And then I'm going to be starting on uh, Valentine's Day. Never too early start. So I have a lot of DIY ideas. So I will see you later. Love you all. Stay safe. And sub, 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 sub. And yeah, I can talk to you on my Twitter too. Also, go to my Twitter. It's Dana Tuso. At Dana Tuso. Love you all. Bye.